Good afternoon, beekeepers and bee enthusiasts. How you doing? It's another great day at the farm, and we're here outside the Sourwood Acres Hive. Uh, the weather's been nice, and so we figured we'd go ahead and knock out their spring inspection as well as getting them frames uh, to start building some honey on. And this video, this inspection is going to be a lot shorter than our other inspection video where we went through like all the steps and everything. Here we're just going straight through it. Um, it's going to be a simple video, and we think you'll like it. So without further ado, let's break right into it. All right, so we got all our tools. We're pretty much ready to go. So what is the two thing? What are the two things we're looking for when we go on the hive? That's right, you said it, brood and food. So when we go on the hive, we're looking for brood and food. If they've got brood and food, the hive is good to go and we're ready to add some frames for them to build honey on. But, you know, as long as we see brood, we know the queen's in there laying eggs. And as long as we see food, we know they can eat. So that's good to go. So let's go ahead and pop the top. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the straw out from the winterization. There could be bees in there. If we have to use our bee brush, we'll do it. And then I will take the divider board off and I will start looking at frames. I'll show them to you. And then we'll assess. And then once we see that the hive is in good shape, then we will put it back together and then put all the honey frames in, be good to go. So let's break right into it. Okay. So we got our straw, uh, we got a few ants, not that big of a deal. You're gonna have ants sometimes. So we'll go ahead and brush them off. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out all this straw, which luckily they have not gotten to the straw section yet. And uh, then we'll start breaking into the frames. Okay, get our hive tool. Then we got some ants in here, but they'll take care of it. You'd be surprised on what kind of pest control a honeybee can do. They're pretty good at it. Okay, so I'll move our divider board back. And already I'm starting to see some honey in here. A little bit of cross comb. Some uh, brood at the bottom, some specifically drain brood. Looks like regular brood at the bottom. If you look in the center, you can see right there, that's the queen cell. So it looks like, and then there's another queen cell here towards the bottom, if you can see that. So it looks like these bees are about to swarm. Now, am I gonna stop them from swarming by splitting them? No. You can split. I'm not gonna hate on you if you split. But uh, I'm definitely, you consider a lazy person. I like to work, as far as beekeeping goes, as little as possible. And so, we just let them do what they're gonna do, you know? Okay, if you see all that, that's brood. So I see honey, I see brood. That's all I gotta see. I could go through the rest of the hive, but why? Like, they're they're pretty good to go. So I'm just not even gonna bug them. I'm gonna put this frame back and I'm gonna start feeding frames in here. Some of you will say, why don't you cycle frames towards the front to cycle the frames out? 
I'm not doing that because this hive, this colony's only been here for a year. So it's not huge that we get in there and cycle frames to the front. They're looking good. I just want to get some honey frames in here, call it a day. Remember what I told you at the start. We're looking for brood and food. If we see brood and food, there's nothing else to see. But that was pretty cool to see some queen cells in there. That tells us they're probably about to swarm. And like I said earlier, you know, you can split them to try to stop them from swarming. But if you've just got swarm hives all over your property, I mean, you can just let them swarm and see if you can catch them. Okay, I can fit one more in there. But I'm not going to, I'm just gonna, they've got comb on this, so I'm just gonna kind of leave them be. Cool, that's it. Easy. Cool. And that's how we do an easy inspection. All right. Last thing to do is we're going to take this mouse guard off the front. As you can see, it's just wire mesh. But we need to take it off so they can get some better traffic going through there. And I think I'll keep that door there. No, nah, I'll take it off. I'll just take it off. Easy. So that was a pretty cool inspection. You know, when the Sourwood Acres hive, we saw brood, we saw food, those are the two things we know we're looking for when we're going through a hive. And if we see those two things, we know the hive is good to go. You know, many people would say, well, we gotta see every frame and all that stuff. And um, you can if you want to, uh, but we just like to really disturb the bees as little as possible. And that means going there and when we see brood and food, that's pretty much all we need to see. And then we're ready to add frames so they can start producing honey for us throughout the season. And of course we won't revisit that hive until the fall. So basically they will go undisturbed until the fall. And then when the fall comes, then we'll go in and take all of our honey out and it should be good to go. Um, we did see swarm cells in there. So it means uh, colony's probably gonna be swarming here soon. And you know, like I said earlier, um, some people would split their hives uh, to basically 
get around them swarming us we don't really split them you know i don't i'm not dissing you if you do split you know a lot of people do that um but we just put up swarm hives around our property and uh you know if they want to move in when they swarm they move in and that's it's pretty much as easy as that so hope you enjoyed the video and until next time we'll see you soon